Hello all, myself architect Piyush Pand welcomes you to my channel People's TV English. Do subscribe my channel to get continuous educational stuff like this. In this video, we learn about aerial perspective in the environment and its parameters like sun, visibility range, atmosphere, light intensity, etc. and how it affects the environment of the sea with help of examples. Now we will straight away go to a default render of a model without using aerial perspective. This will give us a glimpse of a difference. Now let's do a render with aerial perspective active and use the default settings for every parameter under it. We will go through them one by one later in this video. To see the difference between the render with aerial perspective and without aerial perspective, we will be selecting a region in the V-ray frame buffer and do the render. Aerial perspective is the effect that the earth atmosphere has on the appearance of objects that are viewed from a distance and which is similar to fog or haze. In our render output, we can see that when we use aerial perspective in the rendering, the environment and sky is blocking sun rays and thus creating a foggy space which is affecting the shadows and lights on the model. Sun is the first parameter under aerial perspective. It specifies the sun object in the scene by which the aerial perspective effect is connected. Now when we don't use the sunlight and do a render, you will see that the background is gone. It will use the filter color in aerial perspective. We are also not able to see any shadows or lights in the model. Second parameter under aerial perspective is visibility range. It specifies the distance in meters at which the fog has absorbed the light coming from objects behind it. Lower values make the fog appear denser while larger values reduce the effect of the aerial perspective. In front of you is the rendered image with the visibility range of 6000 meters, which is very low. As a result, you can see less shadows, shades and light in the model. Now, let's increase the visibility range from 6000 meters to 100,000 meters and select a region to see the difference in the render. You can make out the difference very easily even before the completion of the render that the region having larger visibility range is less affected by the aerial perspective. The picture gets more clear. And as we go to the lower side, as was done previously with 6000 meters visibility range, environment fog intensity increases which blocks the sunlight. Another parameter under aerial perspective is atmospheric height. It controls the height of the atmosphere layer in meters. Lower values can be used for artistic effects. Now to see the effect of atmospheric height in our render, let's take out the render using aerial perspective with default values to compare it with different atmospheric values. Here is the default render using sunlight and aerial perspective having visibility range of 6000 meters and atmospheric height also 6000 meters. Now let's change the atmospheric height to 20,000 meters and see the difference. As we increase the atmospheric height value from 6000 meters to 20,000 meters, you can see the mist and fog in the environment gets more clear. Now let's change the atmospheric height value from 20,000 to 60,000 to see the change in the render. In the region render comparison, you can see how the large values create more fair background in environment. The intensity of light increases in the model as we increase the atmospheric height value. Another parameter under aerial perspective is in scatter light intensity. It controls the amount of sunlight scattered from the atmospheric effect. 
the default value 1.0 is physically accurate. Lower or higher values could be used for artistic purposes. Here is the render difference between the default value of 1 and 2 of an scattered light intensity. You can see that the render with the value of 2 looks more abstract than the default value. Next parameter is filter color. It affects the color of the unscattered light. You can change the filter color according to the need. You can also change the intensity of the filter color with the help of sliding bar. Here are a few examples of different renders we did based on different filter colors and intensities. Another parameter is effect environment. When it is disabled, the atmospheric effect is applied only to the camera rays that hit actual objects, but not to rays that hit the sky. This is because the V-ray sky texture already takes into account the amount of scattered sunlight. However, it is possible to enable this option for artistic effects, especially with low visibility ranges. Another parameter under Aerial Perspective is Effect Background. It specifies whether the effect is applied to camera rays that hit the background if a background other than V-Ray Sky is used. Normally, this option should be disabled, but some interesting effects are possible when this option is enabled. Here is the render with default settings of Aerial Perspective. Now let's disable the Effect Environment option in Aerial Perspective and see the difference in our render. Now let's enable the Effect Environment option and disable the Effect Background option and see the difference in the render. Now let's disable both the effect environment and effect background option and see the difference in the render. Ok guys, so that was all about aerial perspective settings and the environment in V-Ray for SketchUp. Watch other parts from my channel to know more about rendering parameters in V-Ray. Find me on social networks on the addresses given on the top of the video for discussions. Also like, subscribe and share if this video helped you. Thanks.